Hello mga ka-mathmates! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the post notification bell right over there. Welcome to another episode of Challenging, Exciting, Fun, and Interesting Math Lessons. This is Sir Oliver, your cool math teacher for today. Our topic is all about Learning objective, subtract fractions with like and unlike denominators. So this video lesson is the continuation of the last video that I uploaded. So this time naman, ang involved na operation is subtraction. How are we going to subtract similar fractions and dissimilar fractions? So let's start our video lesson with a simple situation. A recipe needs 3 4 teaspoon black pepper and 1 3rd teaspoon of red pepper. How much more black pepper does the recipe need? So again, the question is how much more? So therefore, the operation involved in this situation or problem is subtraction. This is one of the applications of subtraction of fractions in a real-life situation. To find the answer to the given problem, stay focused and go with me as we explore the new lesson that we will discuss in this video. Subtraction of fractions. So mathematically, if A, B, C are integers and B is not equal to 0, then A over B minus C over B equals to A minus C over B. So probably, the steps are just the same with addition. Ang naiba lang is the operation involved wherein tayo ay subtract. So let's start with the subtraction of similar fractions. Again, when we say similar fractions, these are fractions with the same denominators. So these are the steps that we need to follow in subtraction of similar fractions. First, subtract the numerators and copy the denominator. Again, we just subtract the numerators and copy the denominator. Then after that, we need to express our answer in lowest term if possible. So as easy as that. Okay, so we will be having examples for subtraction of similar fractions. 7 over 13 minus 4 over 13. Again, we just subtract the numerators. 7 minus 4 is... 3 and then copy the denominator which is 13. So our answer is 3 over 13. Next example, 5, 6 minus 1, 6. Again, we just subtract the numerators. 5 minus 1 is 4 over 6. Then, we need to get the lowest term of 4, 6. So we can write 4 as 2 times 2 and 6 as 3 times 2. So therefore, the common factor is 2. So we can cancel the common factor, which is 2, and then the lowest term of 4, 6 is 2 thirds. So that will be our final answer. For our last example, for example 3, we have 10 twelfths minus 1 twelfths. Again, 10 minus 1 is 9 over twelfths. So we need to express again our answer in reduced form. So we can write 9 as 3 times 3 and 12 as 4 times 3. So the common factor is 3. So we can cancel out 3. Therefore, our final answer is 3 fourths. So that's how we subtract similar fractions. So just remember the two steps. Next, subtraction of dissimilar fractions. Again, when we say dissimilar fractions, these are fractions having different denominators. So here are the steps that we need to follow in subtracting dissimilar fractions. First, find the least common denominator or the LCD. So ahanap tayo ng pinakamababang pwedeng i-divide sa both denominators without remainder and that is the LCD. 2. The LCD will be the new denominator. 
divide it by the given denominator and multiply it to the given numerator. Then, you will have similar fractions. So, we will be changing first the similar into similar. Then, we need to follow the steps in subtracting similar fractions. So, don't worry. I will be giving you examples na isusundan natin yung mga step-by-step -step process ng subtracting the similar fractions. Example 1. 4 over 10 minus 6 over 20. So, our denominators are 10 and 20. And the LCD is 20. Okay, how are we going to get the numerators? So, probably we need to divide and multiply. So, that is 20 divides 10 is 2. Kaya yung 2 ay nilagay natin sa taas na multiply natin sa 4. Okay? And then, use the next fraction is 6 over 20. So, 20 divides 20 is 1. Then, kapag multiply natin sa taas, that is 6. Then, simplify. 2 times 4 is 8 minus 6 over 20. So, ngayon, we need to subtract the numerators. So, 8 minus 6 is 2 over 20. And then, reduce our answer in lowest term. So, we can write 2 as 1 times 2 and 20 as 10 times 2. So, the common factor is 2 cancelled out. Our final answer is 1 tenth. Okay? For our last example, we have example 2. 3 eighths minus 2 over 24. Our denominators are 8 and 24. So, what do you think is, uh, uh, is our LCD? 24. So, we just divide and then multiply. So, 24 divides 8 is 3. Okay, yung imo multiply natin sa numerator na 3. And then, the other one is 2 over 24. 24 divides 24 is 1. Kaya naman, ang numerator na lang niya ay 2. Okay? Then, simplify. So, 3 times... Simplify, 3 times 3 equals 9 minus 2. So, we just subtract the numerators, 9 minus 2. The answer is 7 over 24. So, that will be our final answer since it is already in reduced form. So, ngayon ay balikan natin yung kaninang problem dun sa unang part ng video wherein ang involved doon na operation ay subtraction. So, you have 3 fourths teaspoon of black pepper and 1 third teaspoon of red pepper. Okay, we just subtract 3 fourths minus 1 thirds. Again, subtracting the similar fractions. The LCD is 12. So, 12 divides 4 is 3. Kaya yun yung multiply natin sa, sa taas. So, 3 times 3 minus 12 divides 3 to times 1 third is 4 times 1 is 4. Then, simplify. 3 times 3 is 9 minus 4 over 12. Then, we just subtract the numerators. 9 minus 4 is 5 over 12. So, therefore, we can conclude that black pepper is 5 twelfths of a teaspoon than the red pepper. So, that concludes our lesson regarding subtracting similar and dissimilar fractions. So, it's now your time to get your pen and paper and do our activity for today.
So that's all for our video. I hope that you learned something. In learning mathematics, two important things that you need to remember, focus and practice. See you on my next video. Thanks for watching.